Well, it's getting down to crunch time for Rob the Builder as he goes head-to-head -head against Grant Herms in the big cook-off. Let's go ahead and get back out to Mirepoix, the cooking school there at Holiday Market in Royal Oak. Rod, you know, last year you almost burned your house down. We can't forget about that. So at least, <laughs> you know, you've already hit rock bottom, so you can only go up from here. Oh, no, no, there's, there's ample room. <laughs> right now, um, I have uh, scorched a couple of cannoli shells to the point where they're probably not edible. In fact, I know they're not edible. And um, we're going to try again. Uh, they stuck to the bottom because I didn't want to leave them in too long. But they, they, they stuck to the bottom, and that's where we are. Um, and, but I mean, my clam chowder is ready to go, and I'll have my lobster roll ready to go. So two out of three ain't bad, I guess. <laughs> Although I will say this, uh, Mr. Mr. Hotshot over here, uh, he burned a couple of cannoli I did. too. I did do it, get a little hot over here. Those uh, those those middle ones there, but I'm now making the second cannoli cream that I'll be using. So I'll be doing two different kinds, Rob. Oh, how nice! With a little a bit of Nutella, because uh -huh. who doesn't like that? Well, so <laughs> I've got I've got to do my lobster rolls still though. So you're ahead of me of that. Yeah. Uh, well. But I'm almost ready. Yeah. So, so it's it's actually this has been fun. Although it's been a learning experience. <laughs> you know, everything is learning curve, right? Absolutely. I will tell you that my wife, who had to watch me almost burn her kitchen down last year, is watching from afar, and I know her head is about ready to explode watching this. <laughs> So what's the hardest thing here, Rod? Is it the timing? Is it the multitasking? What's your big stumbling block? This, I think, I think this time, because I've, you know, I've done this enough now where I know not to overheat everything. Um, but you know, I mean, when you do the first time frying something, you expect it to rise to the top. But you know, you know, <laughs> I wasn't counting on it sticking to the bottom. So, you know, just goofy stuff like that. And, and Rod, I'm not sure who's out there with you, but I'm wondering if we can get another shot of your cannolis there. I, I just want to look at them one more time because I, I thought I saw them in passing, but I wasn't sure exactly what, I mean, what I was looking at. Oh, wow. uh, Ooh, well, that looks like a hot dog. I thought they were hot dogs. I wasn't <laughs> yeah, sure what was happening. It looks, um, like, it looks like roadkill. And, and are, those the, are those the only two you've, you've Is made? Is that your best? Yeah, I w <laughs> nice question, Karen. Um, that, that, that is my best to date, but I'm rolling out some more dough to see if I can't get another one to work. I think we need to do like a side-by-side -side comparison of um, yours next to Grant's. Just, you know, just well, out isn't of curiosity. That, I mean, a, a Maybe few mine are a little dark, but uh, I know Norm, you wanna, I'll, I'll come over. These are just the shells. I'm not, I'm not full yet, so I've got six. So yeah. they're a they got a little dark. Oh, I, I was they, in the same boat as Rod. A little, little, okay. little dark. Well, that means Rod has little a dark. chance. You're saying he's got a chance. Mm, maybe yeah. 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 I think a that's chance. a stretch. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let you guys get back to it, and, <laughs> and we'll check back in with you in a little bit. But stark difference there in those it's two so side by different. side.